buffalo are a central theme in Native American culture. Now it's kind of interesting in this particular region that the Navajo people carve buffalo, but I think it must be um, sort of the overall reference to Native American culture in, well, in, in general because there never were bison or buffalo in this particular area. Well, that may not be true. There could have been prehistoric um, bison. Um, in any case, um, historically, the, the contemporary society did not have access to or didn't, um, uh, didn't interact with bison in this particular area. But having said that, um, Marvin Jim and a lot of the local native artists are very focused on um, the bison culture or the buffalo culture. And in this particular case, Marvin Jim has taken that theme and, and carved an interesting piece. Um, he's been doing a number of sculptures lately that are of this particular um, style, I guess would be the appropriate term. Um, and he likes to do bison and elk and sheep, um, the, the bighorn sheep. Um, his uh, his drapery, his chief blankets are always sort of a, a, a muted tone, relatively simple in design. And I think that's because he's adjusting to the loss of Grace, who was doing more complex designs on when she was painting his sculptures. But he's now doing all of his own work. And it's, it's really very interesting. He spends a lot of time carving his bases, so you can see that he's done a lot of work down here with the grasses and, and logs and uh, um, that sort of thing. A lot of work on the, or a lot of detail work on the moccasins and the, the, the hooves or the hands and uh, the jewelry that he does. And we really are very appreciative of his work at Twin Rocks. Um, and partially because we're fond of Marvin, but he just seems to do kind of an interesting folksy sort of carving that, uh, you know, is not overly sophisticated, but it has a really good cultural, a really good folk art feel to it. 